So you're on academic probation. Now what? You may ask yourself, how did I get here? What does that mean and what do I do from here? Let's chat about academic probation. We have four goals for this session. One, for you to understand what academic probation is. Two, to know what happens when you're placed on academic probation. Three, how to get back on track. And four, finally, we'll talk about helpful resources to assist you throughout your academic journey. You'll be placed on academic probation if your cumulative grade point average falls below a 2.0 after you complete a minimum of nine credit hours, which is approximately three classes. Your cumulative GPA is a record of your entire academic history at UMBC. This does not include any transfer credits. Your cumulative GPA is based on courses solely taken at UMBC. Academic probation is a warning to let you know that your grades must improve within the next 30 credit hours or approximately 10 classes. And with this in mind, the next goal is to know the academic probation process. You've received a letter or an email indicating that you are on academic probation. Now what? Well, you're in what we like to call a limbo or buffer zone. During this time, you have the opportunity to reassess your learning styles, habits, and courses without fear of being required to withdraw from UNBC. We'll talk some more about how to make the most of this time with goals three and four. After you complete these credit hours, you are no longer in the buffer zone. The university puts you into one of three categories. One, return to good academic standing. Two, remaining on academic probation. Or three, being required to withdraw for one calendar year. Category one. All right, you did it. This is the best category for a student to be in. This can also happen before 30 credit hours is up, in which case, nice work. Good standing will now be noted on your transcript. If you're in category two, you're going in the right direction. So your cumulative GPA is still below a 2.0, but your semester GPA is a 2.0 or better. You'll still be on academic probation, but you'll be allowed to continue taking classes. Hang in there. Eventually, by consistently picking away at your GPA, your cumulative GPA will also improve. You got this. You can continue to take classes, but do note that your academic standing will be reassessed every semester. So if your semester GPA and your cumulative GPA is below a 2.0, then the next category will apply. Category three, this is what we want to avoid. It's academic Mordor. At this stage, you may be required to withdraw from UNBC, which means that you are not allowed to take classes for one calendar year. We sincerely hope that you will not be at this stage, but if you do find yourself in this situation, please review the letter that you will receive. Ask questions. Remember that we're here to help you navigate through your academic journey and hopefully we'll avoid this altogether. To recap, right now things are a bit rocky, and that's okay. What meaningful adventure has ever started off smoothly? So how do we get back on track? Well, here we go. Tips to achieving good academic standing. One possible strategy is to repeat courses. Repeating courses is the fastest way to boost your GPA. When you improve your grade, we use the higher mark in your GPA calculation and the lower grade is excluded. This is indicated with the I's and E's on your unofficial and official transcripts. However, despite this, note that transcripts are meant to be a reflection in time. So while you may repeat the course and do better in it, all courses attempted will appear on your transcripts, unless you have a TARDIS, which if you do, please let us know. Also, note that any coursework completed at another institution will not be calculated into your UNBC cumulative GPA, and as such, the course will not improve your academic standing. The Academic Success Center has excellent workshops on note-taking, time management, and study skills. Many of these skills can be used and translated throughout your entire undergraduate degree. Day Planner. Use a day planner to give you a visual look into when your deadlines are from your course syllabus. Be sure to place reminders a few days before the items are due. Start research papers as soon as possible. Don't leave them the day before they're due. Take a hard look at the beginning of the semester to ensure that you've plotted things out and make sure that it looks manageable to you. Study time. It's recommended that for every hour you spend in class, you spend three hours studying and reviewing for that class. Reviewing class notes immediately after class can help you retain information better and solidify your learning. Prepare for your lectures. Read the chapters that you'll be covering in the class before the class begins. This will help you become more familiar with the material and ask informed questions in class if you need clarification on a topic. And take time for yourself. It's important to ensure you have me time. Do things you enjoy doing. Take breaks. Do extracurricular activities to help you reduce your stress while studying. Make sure you schedule breaks into your day. Walk around campus. 
bring a book to read, join a club. Now it's time to talk about some of the helpful resources available to you. Reviewing your unofficial transcripts via your MyUNBC account will allow you to check your semester GPA and your cumulative GPA. It can help you identify possible courses to repeat as well. Check out this helpful video that will walk you through how to run your degree evaluation. Your degree evaluation is a way for you to check what courses you have successfully completed, what courses you have in progress, and what courses you still need to complete. You have lots of resources you can access to help support you throughout your studies. Student advisors, we can help you understand academic probation, university regulations and policies. We can also help review your academic plan to assist you in achieving good academic standing. Professors, they're the experts in their field. If you don't understand a concept discussed in your course, make sure you visit them during their office hours to connect with them. Visit the library's circulation desk or online for assistance with term paper research or check out books on time management, study skills, and referencing. The Academic Success Center has free in-person and online tutoring, workshops, supplemental instruction, also known as SI, which are great supports for you to be successful. The Access Resource Center provides access and reasonable accommodations for students with disabilities by reducing physical and systemic barriers. Student-led organizations, NUGS, or their Northern Undergraduate Student Society, has over 50 academic and social student-led organizations. Your fellow students are an excellent resource for your classes and future goals, so get involved. You've taken the first step. Understanding academic probation and knowing the services are key to helping you develop a plan to get off of academic probation. Your next step now is to connect with services at UMBC to help you build that bridge for success. As always, we're here to help. Please come in and see us. We're happy to meet with you either in person or over the phone.